good morning when it is estivus here and i figured i would unfund or unbag my shopping haul to trader joe's with you so that way we could have a conversation um, usually at in the morning times i take the time to be working out or have meetings or do meal preps but today it was all about restocking the refrigerator so I go usually to maybe two different supermarkets. Um, most of the time I shop either in Stop and Shop, ShopRite, or um, Key Food, depending on where my feelings go. Um, but most likely I always do at least twice a month, I go to um, Trader Joe's. I like Trader Joe's, hi Miguelina, for their variety and I can add different spices and there are things that they have there that I can't find in other supermarkets. So I'm gonna share with you some of the things that I go specifically to Trader Joe's for and I'll share some of the reasons why. So jicama, I know you can buy the vegetable itself, like raw, and it looks brown on the outside, and then you can peel it yourself. But they cut it in themselves in little cubes and sticks, so it makes it easy for me to just add into any salads um, or eat as a snack. I love just adding chili lime seasoning to this and making it a go-to snack. My daughter loves it. I mix it, sometimes I chop it up little or with tiny little dices, and I mix it with an apple or a pear, and it's very refreshing. It's also very good for your body. I always have blueberries at hand, um, but I found these, usually these go for like $8. I bought them for $3.99. So I really love my blueberries. I have blueberries almost, I would say four times a week. I'm not afraid of fruits. I know that um, sometimes people have this tendency to go for um, things that take away food groups and for me I've learned that food is not the enemy is knowing what to eat and how to eat it that is important I buy my apples um, my favorite apples are the gala which are in between the sweet and they're a little bit crispy and sour um, and they don't go as bad I don't like mushy apples but I don't like them to be too sweet either so I find that the, that the gala apples are good for that. I also like apples because you can use them as a snack. Um, if, you've in the, if you're in the mood for something sweet and comforting, you can take an apple, dice it up, um, add a dash of cinnamon, put it even in the microwave, and have it like be warm and then drizzle a little bit of honey and you're good to go. It takes away the feel. Another way is to go ahead and put like um, walnuts on top and that will also help. I also use my broccoli, regular broccoli. I like to do these in a variety of ways. I add them to my kids' food. I hide it in their meats. Um, I put it in their mac and cheese. I love mine roasted. So now that the weather is getting cooler, I can turn on the oven and not feel type of like, oh my God, I'm suffocating. So I do buy my broccoli. Um, I also, I've been wait, wanting to do this recipe with the cauliflower and I buy the whole cauliflower and then I will go ahead and chop it up and do different recipes with it. There's one that is with cheese and Thousand Island oh, and I have the recipe for it. So that's what this is gonna be used for. It's something about like I forgot the name of it it's like um, animal instinct cauliflower that's what it is so I also don't buy the I used to buy the Romano charm tomatoes and they would go bad because it's hard like I'm always in and out of the house so I don't have the time to chop up things so I just buy the grape tomatoes hi Tracy hi Shirley hi Irene um, I buy the grape tomatoes why because it's easy to just grab and go some of the ways that I use my grape tomatoes a lot is I pair them with two boiled eggs and that's my breakfast um, and I add a toast if I want. Um, another way is I just toss them in a salad. I will also have them at night as a side dish for just in addition. I'll have it with a snack with my, where, where my cheese sticks? with cheese sticks. So that's also another option. I eat a lot of little tomatoes. Um, so that's one. I love this salsa. It's called the garlic chipotle salsa. 
I add this to my stuffed peppers, which I got. Um, I add it to my stuffed peppers. Uh, sometimes I'll do like spaghetti squash and I'll do ground turkey and then I'll put some of it on top. It adds a little, a little extra kick to it and it makes it delicious. Um, so anything that if you're doing taco night, um, you can take a zucchini and peel it off and then stuff it with this and then drizzle the salsa on top and it adds so much goodness to it. I was referred, so this is the main reason why I went. Um, one of the nutritionists I follow, she is like my go-to um, food lover inspiration. So whenever she suggests something, I write it down and I make sure that I put it on my to-do list. Hola Judy, ¿cómo estás? Um, gracias por lo de mi cabella. <laughs> so she suggested to go with the red pepper spread and it's eggplant and garlic. So sometimes, you know how you really want to munch on something? This is good for like an, um, a veggie dip or you can use it as a spread on a sandwich or you can add it to chicken or pasta. So this, I'm gonna give you a review, a full review when I try it in one of my recipes. And literally it's, um, it's two tablespoons for 30 calories and in the ingredients, you'll see that it has just red peppers, eggplant, and then the third um, ingredient is cane sugar, sunflower oil, sea salt, dried garlic, and citric acid for freshness and paprika. So this is very natural. See, nos vemos pronto. Um, this is very natural. The other thing is peaches are in season. So I like to stick to the fruits that are in season and the peaches are very good for you. I buy them in a bag. I put them in mostly my shake, my superfood shakes. I use the vanilla flavor for it and it literally tastes like peaches and cream. Um, another idea with peaches is if you take um, like Greek yogurt. I use the unsweetened Greek yogurt. I slice one peach and then I add one, te one teaspoon or like a little bunch of walnuts. Oh my God, you're gonna feel like you're having um, some type of parfait and it's really delicious. Always have lemon, lime, yeah, yellow, lime, lemon, lemon. I always get that confused. I love Trader Joe's because they have fish. I like buying my fish um, wild caught. So this week we have swordfish. We have Alaska codfish. I love Alaska codfish, el bacalao. You can do it as a filete, like it's just easy to do with pasta or with just the veggie side. Um, and I also like to buy their chicken because it doesn't have all the antibiotics and it's like raised easily. I also buy shrimp and I keep it frozen. It's already deveined, it's already cleaned. So all I have to do is just toss in a pan and cook. So no excuses for no time to cook. My pork chops, because nothing is off limits. I don't believe in having limitations or telling myself I can't have anything. Um, I buy, because now mangoes are not in season, but I love mango and so does my daughter and my son. So I buy the mango frozen and I'll put that in their superfood shakes when they come home from school as an afternoon snack. I never get anything for free. So the man, um, one of the cashiers, the net broke for the cuties. So he gave me some and I'm looking at him all weird, like, why are you giving me that? But he was giving it to me because he couldn't sew the net back in so he didn't know what to do with the little cuties so he gave them to me i appreciate it when you get something for free <laughs> must be thankful must be a good thing so here's another one brussels sprouts brussels sprouts i hardly buy the whole ones because they're so hard to chop up and i don't have the time for it but i found these and they're shaved already so all i have to do is toss add some balsamic vinegar to it put in some olive oil and go to town. Everybody says, I don't have time to cook. I don't know what to eat. I'm crushed for time, so I'm just gonna stop at a, t at a drive through You don't have to. You can always buy like frozen foods and then reheat them quick and easy in your own home. And that way you control the calories you're intaking. So I love the meatless meatballs from Trader Joe's. They're truly just soy protein and you can add them to your pastas. You can add them to your salads. You can even make like, um, you can do like a little sub with it. Hi Daisy, how are you? 
Um, the other idea is I don't always just buy fresh veggies because they could go bad very fast. I like to keep vegetables frozen in the, in the freezer so that I don't have an excuse one day that I'm scrambling for something and I don't have it available. So this one tastes really, really good. It's um, a mixed blend of eggplant, red peppers, and zucchini, and it tastes grilled. So I love having this at hand for days when I'm in a crunch and I don't have time to make something fresh. I keep frozen potato fries. Um, I put them in my, <laughs> now I have an air fryer and I can do them myself. You know how I have the peppers? I can stuff the peppers with meat and veggies like cauliflower. One of the ways that I do it is I take ground meat and cauliflower, blend it together, and then stuff my peppers with it, and then drop a little bit of cheese on top and have a fun time. Another variety of that is I take this quinoa um, blend. It's basically quinoa with a little bit of um, sweet potato and other veggies like uh, zucchini, onions, and I don't know, and carrots. And I blend that with the ground turkey and I put it in the um, peppers and that's another idea for you to make. I keep these like I buy, <laughs> you know, there are places that have um, limits for you to buy cauliflower and I always take at least three to six um, because this is a weight loss veggie, especially if you have it at dinner time with your superfood shake. So I have a guaranteed two pound weight loss every single week when I have this as my dinner. So I always keep a big stash of it. If you let me, I could buy six, but there's limits in Trader Joe's. You can't just take them for you. Um, and of course, I still have my treats. So I love banana bread. Um, and I also, I only get two because I'm gonna have them and then I'm not gonna have any more. But if I have them in the house, you know that I'm gonna eat them. So I buy two, so I split this one with my husband and then this one gets for Joelle and Noemi, they share this one and that's it. So, Daisy, si estás en plan de rebajar, te puedo ayudar, porque eso es lo que yo hago. Um, ayudo a las personas a que se pongan en cintura y que dejen la dejadez y la vagancia para que puedan alimentar su cuerpo de la forma mejor y también puedan perder el peso necesario. So, um, solamente me tienes que mandar un mensaje si estás en serio y yo te ayudo a, a ver cómo, qué programa te funciona mejor y así puedes comenzar. I also like to keep a variety of greens available. Um, I don't, this, this goes in like three days, but I also freeze them if I'm not gonna be using them immediately because they go bad. So I like to have, this one is baby kale. This one, another baby kale. This one has the variety of greens. So it's very, it's like kale, it has chard, it has spinach, and it has baby greens. Very high in nutrients and vitamins. I also buy just baby arugula for salads and spinach. Most of those I put in my shakes because as much vegetables as we can eat, that is the best way to lose the weight and to keep it off. Um, and it takes away like the whole idea, I don't like vegetables. So that's that, oh, and I have my special seasonings that I'll share with you. I used to use a lot of adobo, sopitas, um, and like high sodium seasonings to season my food, but that was part of the reasons why I was on the verge of high blood pressure. I was very like bloated all of the time and it had to do with the sodium I was adding into my foods. So this is one that is literally just onion, garlic, sea salt, celery seed, paprika, and nutmeg, and dry mustard. Tastes really good in chicken. I also buy this one, onion salt, and of course, you can never go wrong with just peppers. So, there I have it, that is my haul. I always like my maple syrup, but you can eat, it's easy to pay like $11, $13. I've even paid $19 for real maple syrup. I don't buy Aunt Jemima syrup because it is filled with bad stuff for your body. This is literally natural. It's maple syrup and that's why it is expensive. But my thinking is I am the one eating it. My children are the one eating it. So 
if I if I'm willing to have an iPhone that costs thousands of dollars and that's a phone right that's something material why won't I invest in the food I am putting inside of my body inside of my children's body I don't think a lot of people say oh but this is so expensive yes you have to invest because you're investing in your future. And if you don't want to spend a lot of money in medicine, you might as well start investing in your health as of now. So this, my friend, is my haul for the supermarket. If you have any questions, um, let me know and I'll be happy to answer. I will also, if you like what I, what I shared with you, I can continue to share more. Um, more tips and ideas on how you too can live a healthier lifestyle if you don't like what you are seeing in your health and in your energy level you don't have to stay that way it can change you can change it all right and I'm here to help you if you need so God bless you be blessed and don't forget be a blessing to somebody else so if this helped you if this gave you an idea share it with somebody else because I'm sure somebody will appreciate that you either tag them or share this video for them to see it too. All right, take care and have a great afternoon.